Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Ready? <laughs> this is the Central Council on Aging Board of Directors <coughs> meeting. This is October 10th, 2012, and the meeting is called to order at 6.03. I'd like to do an introduction of the board and the director. And our special guest, Mr. Norton, Joe Norton from the Board of Selectmen. Florence, could you start, Jerry? Yes, I'm Florence Cho. I'm Dale Baylog. Jerry Fiamonte. Joan Powers. Pam Davis. And Joe Norton. Jim Harmon. Rocco Carabas. Thank you. Um, Joe Norton is on the Board of Selectmen, and he is going to be the first item up on our agenda. So the floor is yours, Mr. Norton. Thank you. Thank you, I think. I think thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, first of all, for the opportunity of coming this evening, and thank you for uh, having me on the agenda first. I appreciate that very much. I brought with me, well, let me preface it by, by saying I understand, uh, more, than, more than most probably, how disappointed a lot of the seniors were with the decision not to go to uh, move this building to Pier 44. Uh, a lot of thought as you no, uh, went into it. A lot of input went into it. Uh, there were there were great arguments on, on, on the side of of moving uh, this building to be a forty four. There were also good arguments on making it a a facility for the entire community. There was some disagreement as to whether. Uh, the building could actually really be used for permanent senior center. I never fully understood, understood one way or the other uh, the end result of that. I really am not sure whether, I still this day I'm not sure whether it could, have, could not be, but we were told by the state that in fact it could not be used as a senior center. Uh, we abided by their decision. Having said that, I think the overriding uh, the issue as far as the Board of Selectmen was concerned was it has to be or it should be for the entire community. The entire community meaning seniors, youth, school, recreation, uh, small functions if anybody wanted to use it and use it as a community <coughs> in that way. Right or wrong, that's the decision that was made. Having said that, uh, we feel it was right, I think, in the long run, long run it, it will be proven right. However, I know you're using that building now. I encourage Florence and everyone to use it as much as you possibly can. If it's open any time, day or night, you have a function. I know Florence has had large groups down there. It's worked out great. I've been down there myself. Uh, it's a great place for a, for a meeting of over 75 people, 50, 75, 100 people. It's a great venue for that. Uh, we, you can use it for that. You can use it for groups of five or 10 people uh, who might be taking a class. So I, I uh, you know, I, I ask that you, you, you think about that and you use that as much as you possibly can. Having said that now, I guess a, a good way, a good, way to start this conversation, and, I, and I'm welcoming all sorts of input here from everybody. Uh, now what? Where do we go from here? I'm sure that question is on the, your mind, and, and uh, before we voted the way we did, we actually had some idea what our thoughts were, our plans were, uh, in the long run. And it, it's tied in with, with the schools, it's tied in with the gate school, it's tied in with the renovation of the, 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 the uh, moving of the gate school. Hopefully the, the state will see, agree with us in, in, uh, in looking at the, the whole picture and agree that the, the gate school, the new junior high should be built. We are hoping that the new junior high is built at town hall or at that general vicinity. Uh, if that happens, town hall has to be moved and we would then go, our plans would then, then take us to a situation like they have in Hingham, where an old school, uh, town hall moved into a, a, a school, and I don't know how many people are familiar with the Hingham 
town hall slash senior center slash uh, public safety building, but it's just, it's great. It's great. It's been up probably now for 10 years, and uh, it serves the community very, very well. Uh, I have brought, and these are plans we just had drawn up. There's, I, I've opened it up to the to the page, I think. Let me pass this over here. I'll pass this one down here, and you can probably just look at it and pass it around. Uh, that is the first floor of what the Gates building would look like and what would be in there if everything goes according to the way we in the school department have planned it or hope it goes. Uh, the seniors center would have, I think, more than ample space, as you'll be able to see by here. Uh, It'll have its own entrance in the back, parking in the back. It'll be more than adequate. Uh, and again, with this can be tweaked also. If when we go to the next stage, we look at it closer and you need more space, we can get more space. I think we have, I think the building is round number is 90,000 square feet. As you look at these plans, first, second, and third, first, second floor for the most part. Uh, that takes about 70,000 square feet. So we have 20,000 square feet of, of, of wiggle room, if I can put it that way. If you needed more room, I, I don't think the seniors would, but they might, you know better than, better than I. And, if, and if, you, if the seniors did, then we can, we can accommodate it. Uh, I don't know of any other alternatives at this stage, to be perfectly honest with you. I mean, since we can city and meeting after meeting and talk about other sites. Uh, but honestly and realistically, I don't think it can happen outside of this plan. And I'll, I'll tell you why, for a couple of reasons. This is gonna take a giant override on the part of the town. So you take an override, uh, the likes of we've never seen here in Citroen. I, 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 I would guess, strictly a guess, 60, 70, 80 million dollars. Some people go as high as 100 million dollar override. Extremely, let's be, we can't kid each other, we can't fudge the numbers. It, it's going to be a big hit, a big, big, big hit financially, not only on seniors, but on middle class, on parents, on newcomers, old comers. It, it's giant, a giant. So, to, to attempt to go build a senior center or anything else at another site would take an override. Four million dollars, five million, whatever number you want to come up with. Ten million dollars. I'm not sure the town would have an appetite for a five million dollar override followed by a seventy million dollar override. It just, I just don't think it would pass. I just realistically, it would, I know I could, it, I'm sure, I'd be very surprised if it passed. So I think, I think the best alternative for a, a senior center and the fastest alternative to get it done would be this plan here that is on the table. I'm not sure we have a bunch of a choice. If we want to see a new senior center, we want to see a new senior center within the next couple of years, this probably is the is the the plan the plan that will work. And I'm not sure this will work. The town might not have an appetite for this. I mean it's it's um, it's, it's hefty and there's no getting around it. It's, it's a lot of money. But the, uh, the Jenkins School absolutely has to be uh, either moved or renovated and we hope moved. Uh, a new one built. Gates, excuse yeah. me. Gates School, I'm sorry. Town Hall is 60 years old, and I don't think there's been $200,000 spent on it in that kind of 60 years. So. Is the Feasibility Committee going to be able to look at the option of tearing this down and building a new town hall back behind it? A town? Oh, tearing? If, on this. If, you, if it's so costly, if we were looking at $22 million, the number that they threw out 
at your selectmen's meeting to just bring this up to code and use it as a school. This building really here? The uh, no, the gate school. Gate school. When the architects presented okay. to you, yeah, yeah. Uh, is that feasibility committee that is going to rep be represented by? Okay, yeah. Can they look at tearing this down because it might be so cost prohibitive to do this and build new for less yeah. money theoretically? That that's an option, I suppose. That we didn't uh, on the same site back right, behind it. Right here, the, what we told the the consultants was to look at the building. And, and see what see if it first of all see if it's physically able to hold anything. Yeah. And they they came back and said it's physically sound, structurally it's sound. It needs a lot of work, but structurally the building is sound. Maybe uh, not un unlike this one that may not be structurally uh, sound. This okay. is pretty old. Yeah. This is old. Yeah. Um, Okay, I'm just, yeah, just throwing that out they, there. They weren't told <laughs> yeah. to look at that, so they didn't look at tearing yeah. it down. Could they do it? Sure, they could yeah. tear that I mean, down and build a new, you know. Again, it, it's, it becomes now what's, what's more cost effective. I don't know. Sure, yeah. I don't know. I think. Uh, the only problem yep. I see with this, if you're looking at what they did over in Kingham, putting the council on aging in over there. Kingham is in fact going to build an independent council on aging mm -hmm. because it didn't work in their facility. They ended up not having enough room and their parking situation was such that the seniors couldn't get to the senior center section because everybody else was taking their parking spaces. Yeah. So it needs to be thought out yep. really well. That's why I said that this is the first is, yeah. blush I like to put that in right here. There's an area listed, I believe, here in the back of senior parking. Yeah, but how many spaces is that? Uh, many it spaces can be tweaked. I mean, I don't know how many of you. Let's say that. It looks like there's about 30. Because mm -hmm. you're, yeah. you're looking at a yeah. population that is growing. You're there's gonna, nothing to say. I don't think there's yeah. nothing to say you couldn't put another row back here or another row back there. I mean, I know, yeah. as I say, this is an initial plan. Yeah. If it, if, if it, and if we need parking and that's a tennis court, we're going to get rid of the tennis court. Probably not. You know, I, mean, I, I mean, honestly, it's yeah. realistic. I don't, you have to go behind that building and see the, see the space. Oh, I know. I know. And you can take a piece of this field here for parking. Um, yeah, yeah I mean, that's, that's this, just this, my main concern. Yeah, so we, we certainly would want to build this uh, for the seniors, or for anybody for that matter, yeah. if there wasn't enough parking. I mean, that's just what that would be a cool lot. Yeah. And I think that's what they yeah. got to think of. It sounds like they built it, they didn't build so it big enough. People were just taking the People were using, because they could see before they yeah. used yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Well, we could, we, we could designate this somehow, I suppose, see your back and home. That's going to be the issue. Yeah. And, 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 and again, and I, again I want to emphasize, it's and I know this is, sounds difficult, but I'm not sure what the alternatives are. Well, we understand that. You know, I mean, well, I, we understand that. The, the only thing that um, we really want to make sure that is done is that if we're calling out to follow a model, I really think it's important that the feasibility study, uh, feasibility group, go over to him because they're not only taking out the senior center, they're taking out a REC and they're taking out uh, another another um, facility over there because first of all the senior center is too small besides the parking it's too small the 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 thing that i just besiege anyone who's building today and who's building for seniors is to understand what the population is going to look like in 10 years and just like if you build a school for 500 people and you have a big influx of population the school's not sufficient and I would hate to see the town spend all kinds of money and then just have to go back in a few years and either re add on or rebuild or I mean you know Hingham's gorgeous Hingham is beautiful well, I would hope Florence I would hope that this group that's exactly what we want it would tell yeah. us what you need I mean this is yeah. based on uh, right. someone's ideas of what the senior said yeah. and this isn't trying to exact numbers. Yeah. This is just giving, giving people yeah. an idea of where it would be. Yeah. We can find all sorts of reasons. I'm sure the Recreation Department can find reasons why it shouldn't work, it can't work, it won't work. But if we all take that attitude, well, no, believe me, not. let me just finish. If we take that attitude, 
we'll be here 20 years from now. Yeah, and that, we that's the point I've got to But try to work together, and, and rather than give reasons why it won't, <coughs> it didn't work in yeah. Hingham, maybe it didn't work someplace else here, let that be a lesson to us to make sure that we do that, it correctly. Right. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm that's saying. saying yeah. too. It just, right. I just don't want to see that repeated here, that if we're going to do it, let, and we're going to spend that kind of money, let's make sure the taxpayers get their money worth. And we, it won't happen here, provided we get proper input yeah. from people, like you saw, saying yeah. we, don't, we, need, we need 90 spots, we need 100 spots, whatever yeah. that is. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know that number. I think it's a, exciting. I mean, it's a huge opportunity to move into it forward in a way that they've never moved forward. And I think it's really exciting. But I do think that, you know, one big glaring concern that I would have is that because knowing that the school's article would have to be separate, a separate mm -hmm. um, piece, what happens if only one passes? That's a great question. As far as the seniors and senior, as far as you people are concerned, uh, that may be the, the number one issue. If for some reason, and we're hoping that, that the, in fact, we've talked to the superintendent of schools, we've talked to the school committee, mm -hmm. and, and they are on board that this is, it has to be two separate issues, but under the same umbrella, and, and they're in agreement on that. If by some chance it didn't pass, the, the town hall end of it, yeah. it would be it would be town hall would stay where it is, and this building would stay where it is. Mm -hmm. Well, no. but then if the other piece passed, how could that? Ha I mean, because they would be going under the MSBA. I'm assuming that it would be passing based on the fact based on if that's in fact what they come back with. A plan. Well, if they came back with a plan in that if, location. If, if they came back with a plan to put it in the high school and put it in town hall, yes, then it has to. Town then hall the has problem to move. would be everybody gets kind of dumped in town hall, and we. That would be that would make the plan work if, if they came back and said the junior high will be built. Well, it where wouldn't the town go hall if is. there wasn't money to. To renovate that town. You have to find another location for it. If you're going to close which one would of be the, the elementary schools, then it's going to have to go where that elementary yeah. if, school is. If, right. if they said the gate school has to move, if the state says this, and it's going to move to the town hall location, yeah. town hall would have to be torn down, correct? Right. There'd be no need for gate school to be used as a, ta uh, as a school, so the town hall would Right, but my place. concern is then. Are you still going to move the senior center there and with yep. none of this money to renovate it? Do you know what I mean? Well, you if have that to piece doesn't pass, how can they make us? Well, if, if, if that piece doesn't pass, uh, the school could be built independently, but just not where it is. Yep, school. They, they could come out, and, and, and uh, Jen can help you with this more than I can. But they, the state, could come down and say, build a new high school, move the junior high to the high school, right? Build a new high school someplace. Right. Now the question is, where would you build it? You know, that's. But the, they have the power, if I could put it that way, to determine that what the plan would be. It just seems a little bit risky, too. Like, um, I mean, why is it that you, you know, are, there are no other pieces of property that a school could go on? Probably is. There's, a, there's an area up in the Ellis property that people have talked about could go up there. Even if they get approval for the school to go where Town Hall is, it doesn't mean that anybody's going to pass money for the senior center space to be developed in Gates. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. That's that's going to be two separate. No. Votes. No. But no. Town Hall. When we say Town Hall moving to Gates, yeah, we mean this whole plan. The whole package. Everybody's yeah. going. All right. That when I say Town Hall, I mean. The senior center and your recreation. Ballpark guess of how much this alone might cost. I, I know it's a wild, wild guess. I almost point. hesitate, John. At this point, we're we're we don't have a number yet. We should have a number very shortly, shortly be in a few months. Uh, based on the representations, they were talking about the cost of what it would do to renovate gates to make it continue as a, a upgraded a school. School. Okay. So you know you're going to be talking multi million dollars. So at least thirty. Probably a guesstimate. Yeah, you know, at least. Can I say to your point, yeah. though? That this is a package deal in the sense that you know there there are no self interests here. It's the interest of the entire town, and 
although we now realize that the MSBA is going in one direction in the middle school because they have to do it pursuant to those guidelines, this is not a two presentation. You know, we, we want the town to understand that this is a panacea for multiple issues and problems for multiple years. And with respect to the senior center, this is not a separate uh, item that we're saying, well, there's going to be money allocated pursuant to this is the, the, the money that's allocated for the entire town, call it, uh, yeah. say just town hall, but it's, it's a town functioning structure that could have multiple uses, including the senior center, which, you know, we talked about it, Joe had mentioned potential for maybe an onsite of a pool, uh, recreation department, better gymnasium, you know, because we have a gymnasium there, we have locker rooms, um, you know, there's a concept that if the uh, library fails, you can put the library into this whole structure. There are multiple uses in this location, so um, yeah, that's, so, that's sometimes true. we do have a tendency to use the word town hall movie, but, but in reality we mean everything. But the, the school administration of now in the high school would move here. Uh, can I say something? Yep. Uh, if we plan on moving Gate School to where the town hall is now, why can't we raise this whole thing, raise this whole thing here? and build a new building and put the town hall and the recreation department and the seniors and that's one building here with a gay school, which is, in my estimation, is per se, it's, it's gone, it's, it's, it's junk. It, it's, it's just, uh, it's completely out of modernistic days. Uh, it, it's gonna cost a fortune just to renovate this whole area here. And we razz it and build a whole new building and then we can move everything in here. We can put gates down where the town hall is and the fire department. This is all junk. This is all, this, this, all, this whole stuff has gone by. There's no modern uh, utilities and stuff that we have to have today in this day and age. There, uh, there were those that will argue that, that the reason you don't want to tear it down is because it is of great historical significance well, of the well, town. Well, it, it is the, it the center of the town. Uh, structurally, we've had it looked at, and as I said, it's structurally sound. If it wasn't structurally sound, then you know, you'd have to tear it down. Uh, in, my, in my estimation, uh, history is a great thing, but we could put a real nice modern structure here with all the new modern and amenities uh, and everything else in this one building here. We have plenty of area, plenty of sparking space, and there's a lot of stuff we don't need, like tennis courts, we have plenty of tennis courts down to the high school right now. Uh, how many people play tennis there? <laughs> You'd be surprised. <laughs> well, we have tennis courts down to high school. We probably have tennis courts uh, all around town. There's a lot of things you can do, as I say. If it, well, if my mission is take the whole thing, the whole doggone thing down and start from scratch. That's well, all due respect, Rocky, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. We don't have the monies, but, but that's what I would do. It's not going to happen. No, I mean, this is the plan that you, that, that's right. in front of us, and, and tearing it down right now is not an option. Can I put my uh, two bits in? Go ahead. Okay. This might be a little bit off the wall. Go ahead. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> what if we <clears throat> come up <clears throat> with, with the building, and <clears throat> whatever the cost might be, <clears throat> there's a few million years that live in this town. Now, <clears throat> if we were able to grab one of these millionaires and say, hey, listen, we're going to put your name on this building, but we need your help to build the building with all the money that you it's a little bit off the wall, but I don't know. Well, I think you'll, you know, it's an idea, absolutely an idea. Uh, I, I, you must live in a high-class neighborhood. I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there are, there are a few in the town. There are a few, there, there are a few, few, there are a few. And I saw, I'm, I'm sure. Give, give me that project. Uh, What's that? I mean, it's your project. The, the, the building was named after uh, uh, the Gates for, for good reason 50 years ago. Although he's gone now, uh, the, the families, the, the, the reason those building, that building was named for him, like every other structure that, of historical value, uh, there was a reason for it. And I, I would be, I would be, I wouldn't be too quick to change the name of any uh, building or street or avenue. Or, I mean, just sell the name of the Lawson Tower. If someone wants to come up with a million dollars, let's call it the 
Norton Tower if he had a million dollars. I mean, you can't do that. That's, mm -hmm. that's all my point. I, I mean, it's, I suppose it could be done, but I, I personally wouldn't be in favor of it. Do they have any idea how, how much, people ask me, well, how much is our taxes going up? A lot. <laughs> a lot. People are going to have to leave. Let's see how many people can afford for that. A lot. What are your choices? I mean, again, now that's a good point. She picks up, but how much would your taxes go up? Your taxes are going to go up a hefty, hefty amount, and everyone else's taxes are going to go up a hefty amount. And there's no beating around the bush. There's no way to talk about building a, even though there's going to be a 42 or 43 percent reimbursement uh, from the state on the schools part of it. It's still, you're still looking at a lot of money, and taxes are going to go up. There's no doubt about it. Our income goes down. Well, no, I mean, all right, let's, uh, if you don't want the taxes to go up, okay, that's, that's a perfectly, perfectly legitimate argument. I don't want my taxes to go up in nickel. Then you have to vote no on this. You have to vote no on, this, uh, on, the, on the school. But that's, that's what democracy is all about. So that's what you do. Vote no. I agree. I don't disagree. I'm just it, saying goes, that it goes down. I, I, goes down. Give me an alternative. If you want to build this, if you want the senior center, if you want the senior center anywhere, the so. taxes are going to go up. It's as simple as that. Unless, if you can figure out a way to do this or do anything close to this without the taxes going up, please let us know. I mean, do you know when the um, Jenkins? It's, it, that was debt exclusion. How many years was it? Public question. How many? Nine. How many? Nine, I think. It was. Only nine years. Oh, no, 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 it's not. It's it's. I know. <clears throat> um, eight years ago, my husband and I retired, and he was only in that building for at least two years at the most. It was a year that it was finished and you didn't have the furniture to go into it. True, but I think the, the question was how long did, what did we borrow for? I think that was 20 years. I think it's 9 years old. It's 9 years old. I think we borrowed for 20 years. Now, Jim can probably help you with this later on. She's going to speak later. I don't know whether you can go for 30, is it 20 years or 30 years you can go out to borrow for? I think it can be either and you can decide. Yeah. I know Marshfield could, just um, decided to go for a different product, product and got a rate of 2.25% mm -hmm. yeah. and saved themselves $7 million yeah. by looking at the okay. different financing options. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important to note that yes, taxes would go up, but this would be a different kind of override. There's the difference between the operational override and the debt exclusion override, and the debt exclusion override takes these huge amounts that Joe's throwing out there and makes it more realistic, still tough, but more numbers like, you know, a 30 million, or I think Tony came to one meeting we had and used the example of 100 million just to make the numbers yeah. round, and that turned out to be about $500 a year. A hundred million is probably twice what we're looking at, so you could probably cut that in half if you're looking to understand a potential impact. It could be in the neighborhood of two hundred and fifty dollars a year. So that's you know a lot different than when you, because the interest rates are so good oh, right now. So it's going to cost more money. It may not may not cost you a thousand dollars a year, but it's going to cost more money to do it. But the alternative is not to do it. And I don't, I'm not even sure that's an alternative. Um, if you look at the, the, the Gates School, it's, it's in, in terrible shape. If you look at this building here that you're in now, it's in terrible shape. You, you'll have to do something with this building somewhere along the line. If this fails, if this doesn't pass, you will not pass, you, know, you will not pay uh, extra taxes. That, I, I think it's but you may pay, Something, and sometimes. How much, see, the people have to have an idea how much tax. I know one place they're going to lose, they're ending up paying $300 extra a month. And this is for the house for $400. So I think people. I, 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 would, be, I would be very. I, I, I don't doubt your, your, your numbers, but $300 a month is. I've never heard of anything even close to that. So I'd love to find out what time that was.
Yeah, I think we're talking about 300 a year. 300 a year, possibly, but not 300 a month. Everybody does want to know those numbers, and everybody really does, but we can't get there until we start the process. You're not going to get the numbers tonight. You're not, you can't you're get right. those numbers until you start the process and go down the path. You, you, you can't get those numbers until you find out what you're going to do for them. That we don't know for sure. Well, all we're saying is if it works out this way, this is what we'd like to do with the senior population and the senior session. And there'll be a final vote by the townspeople once you put a dollar signature on it. Yeah, that, nothing will be voted until there's a final dollar right. signature. So, Joe, has it already been decided that uh, what will be proposed is to move gates to the town hall site? That's our plan. Now the state could come down. Let's say do something different. They could say take gates and move it to uh, the Ellis property. They could say take gates and move it to. Uh, they could say close a school, an elementary school, and move gates to that. They could do a lot of other things. Yeah. We're hoping, and we're going to be lobbying very strongly for them to say. Close gates and move it to the high school. Yes. I move it to the uh, town hall. Is the school hall. project made a little bit more expensive by putting it on town hall as opposed to a under piece of property? I don't think so. The, I think the only expense would be uh, tearing down town hall, which was minimal. When do we expect to hear from the state? Within a month, uh, first September, November. Within a month. But that 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 we're in the that we're in the uh, in the mix. We want to still want to hear. But, when we but that's, know? that's what I was going to talk about. <clears throat> that the vote coming up on on town meeting is um, for us to enter into the process with the state. If that vote doesn't pass, we go nowhere with the state. Okay. And that vote has a price tag associated with it too. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And I can talk more about that, but I don't want to take away from Joe's. No, story. that's the, that uh, that vote did that. We'll be talking about does have a price tag, but I think we've got to have it with available funds. I don't think there's any override. Many towns have to, it's for, it's for uh, the studies, the economic, the educational plan, and I think I think we have that coming. Just in terms of a broad outline of timing, I, I heard when I listened to you guys, it was four to six years out before somebody would occupy uh, the rehab gates. Uh, no, I think that's a cutback. I think the, the the target plan, if everything went according to the way it's supposed to, the target would be <coughs> September of 2015 or 16. That would be into yes. gates. So that's what three years. Joe, if, uh, is this the $375,000 that we voted on last town meeting yep. that's paying for some of these? Yep. So is it possible, because to your point, I mean, I do like the front of the Gates building personally. I think it's a beautiful building. I would hate to see it torn down. But is it possible to see, to find out what is the difference between renovating that building and clearing it and putting a new building that's, up? That's possible. I mean, doesn't that seem like something that really... I think that will be done, yeah. Okay. I because think that will be. We're certainly going to take the, the, the... I mean, if it's going to cost 40000 to renovate, Building, <coughs> but you know, yeah. no, twelve I think to put up a new at. one. I think. I, 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 I sh town share your view. I would hate to see the building to a down because yeah. it's. it's, it's yeah. But I think it has but, to be a town. But it has, to be, it has to be looked at. Yeah. <clears throat> but you could also keep just the center portion. That 1916 is so, the very center and the very historic exactly. portion. Then you go 1939 and then 1950s and so forth. Different wings that are not historic. So you could. I agree with you. You could what keep just the very, you know, very historic center part, and then looking at building other things on that property. What, that what, should be most, you know, looking at what's most cost effective. What they could do is, like, do a lot of historic building in Boston. Say the facade, oh, yeah. the front, the build a house back, and make it a beautiful a building. I oh. mean, you can. There's many things you can do today with these computers. You know, you can. That's why they change models of cars so fast because of these computers, you just change things within 10 minutes, like we done. And if I think the town administrator came from a town that did that. Save the front. Yeah. 
and, and build around it. I mean, the, I mean look, make it sure costs we, a lot of money. Make sure we all understand that this is not going to be done in a vacuum. I mean, we're not just throwing dots against the wall here. A lot of work has been already put into this, and a lot more will be put into it. Okay? I mean, for the purpose of making sure we get the best possible bang for our back. I mean, if it's better off to tear down the C wing and move, the, we'll do that. I mean, it's, it's certainly, uh, we're not going to do something that's not uh, feasible or not, uh, you know, it's, it's going to cost too much money. When does the feasibility committee start working? I think we're supposed to appoint or start appointing them Tuesday night, but we can Tuesday, I would say you know, within two or three weeks. Richard Mitchell is going to be our representative. Yeah, and I think that would be the Good. time for Richard to to, to to lobby for whatever you think you need in that building. That's the purpose of it. We try to get all the stakeholders together, people who have an interest in it, like you saw the giants interest in it, and make sure that when the final the final final plans are done and it, 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 it goes to town meeting, it goes to the ballot, that you've got everything you wanted here. Were you, you want dedicated parking spaces, you get, you know, you get dedicated parking spaces. You want a certain uh, uh, amount of square feet, you get a certain amount of square feet, if feasible. But that's, that would be the job of the people on the committee, on that committee. Uh, the first thing that really has to come up is the 13th. I think people are going to stay in November 13th. What? I'm going to leave that to Jen. That's yeah, okay. Tommy. So that's important that the people, yep. that they are, yeah, they that's why I'm here. That. Yeah. Yep, that's the first yeah. step in this process, and I, right. I won't steal her thunder and, and uh, but they shall speak to that, to that uh, issue. But again, I just want to emphasize that it, 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 right now it may look like it has flaws, or it may not. It may look like you'd rather do something else, or we could do something else, or maybe that's all true. But as of right now, it's it's the only game in town. Unless for the seniors and for, for a lot of other people and for town hall. Well, we'll just wait and see what happens. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. And, 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 uh, hope it works. And if it works, it's, it's going to be a win-win for everybody. If it doesn't work, then we're back to square one. So it behooves, I think, the seniors to, to get behind this plan. They may have some reservations. They may have some disappointments. Uh, but in order to get a new senior center, I see this as the, as the absolutely the quickest way to ever done. Okay. Thank you. I, I just wanted yes. to say that, um, you know, Joan asked some question about the tax rate itself, and, and it was established that, you know, it, it can't be determined at this point. But I think, uh, you know, from, from the, talk, the talk around town, a lot of people are concerned about the tax rate, not just seniors. So, I mean, this is something, you know, that will have to be clarified even in round figures. I realize that it can't oh, be established tonight. It will be. But it's not just seniors that you want be, to know. It will be more than clarified in round figures. It will be clarified down to the penny. And I agree with you. I mean, believe me, I could not agree more. This is not going to be an easy sell. This is. A very, very difficult, speaking to one of your point, uh, a very, very difficult decision for some people to make. And I recognize that. However, if, if, you, know, if you want these things done, it, it's, I can make a, a, a comparison here, if I may, to the, to the uh, ongoing debate about raising the, the price of the uh, water, water rates a little bit. Uh, no one wants to see the water rates go up. However, if you, if you also, we also have brown water. Nobody wants brown water. You, so in order to fix the pipes and to replace the pipes, you have to raise the water. You know what I mean? So it's, it's a very difficult decision, and it will be for some people. We just hope that the majority of people understand and realize, as expensive as this might be to their own pocketbook, it, it almost has to be done. Joe, will you be coming in with some kind of a cost on how much it would be to fix the building up, to yep. use it as a school? They already did that. To use Have you it done as that? A, to use it as a school? Yes, because I personally think it's not the building that's giving the kids the better education. It's the teachers and the principals. Mm -hmm. They're the ones that are giving you the kids, the, giving the kids quality of education. It's fine to have all this technology, there, but the technology is not going to give them 
the best education as the teachers and the principal are. I, I don't think you'll have anyone disagreeing to you on that. I think you know, bricks, I have bricks and mortar do not make a good education. Yeah, I have worked in two new schools yeah. before I retired. One of them might be still in litigation. The library leaked. The heating system was so poor that the kids had to wear coats on the inside rooms because it was set up with inside and outside rooms. And the air conditioning didn't get to the outside rooms during the, the warm times. They had to replace all of the pipes in the whole building. And it was a brand new building. It took them a year to open it because they didn't have the money, which people want to, want to know that, to put in the desks and all the extra equipment, they only went for the building equipment. Is this going to include all of that in the cost? Uh, we would hope so. And I know the other building that they built near it, they had leaks too. Yeah, I mean, I and again, it wasn't contractors, it was a problem. Hopefully and they we'll, were two have, brand hopefully new we'll buildings. have contractors that you know, I'm just leaks. saying, and I know. I understand. I mean, I can't. You know, can, can I guarantee that there'll be no leaks? I don't know. You know. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, because I know they showed pictures of all oh, the leaks in the ceilings. Well, as I say, even new buildings that's happened. Oh yeah. There. yeah. And, and there, there will be, you know, there'll be a lot of looking at the possibility of renovating gates. I think that's been looked at somewhat extensively now, uh, but I think that everyone. Those who people who know a lot more about it than I feel that 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 just isn't feasible for a school for you know that they should build a new school. That is not my area of expertise. Yeah, I'm, I'm just and and the other thing I found is like the new schools are cold. The old schools have a nice warmth to them, a welcome to the kids. It's something that is lacking in the modern modern schools that. What do the kids go to school for? They go to school for education. Well, you I have to have a, uh, a beautiful building around you or nice walls. You no, use it for they, education. They go for education. And That's what I'm saying. You can keep these buildings so <laughs> cool and so warm. It's poor engineering yeah, yeah, and poor yeah, design. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Well, you, got, you know, you, you, you pay peanuts, you get monkeys. If you pay money, you get good, good quality work and quality tradesmen to do the work and engineering yeah. and architects and stuff like that. Okay. You have to get, to do something, you have to get the best you can get. I, I'm not saying that, I'm just saying that that's, you know, I have Thank you. been in Thank a system you where they have two Thank new you buildings. Very much Thank you. Okay, Joe. Good Good you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Next on the agenda is Jen Morrison. She's with the Friends of Situate Future, and she's going to talk about the uh, new school project and the item that's going to be on the warrant. So, Jen, thank you, Um Hi, everyone. Um, I just want to take a little bit of, about, uh, of your time to talk to you more about the article that's coming up on Tuesday, November 13th at town meeting. This article is about taking that first step. We have to show to the Massachusetts School Building Authority, the MSBA, that our community is, is going to support this. If we don't have this vote passed, we do not enter into the process with the MSBA. We do not get any state money. So let me talk a little bit. Um, the MSBA, um, it's been around for a long time, but they reorganized, essentially made a, a whole new organization in 2004. So Situate has never built a new school. Jenkins was built before the new MSBA. So the MSBA has very specific requirements about um, entering into their process. And the first step is being invited in um, to the eligibility phase. Um, that vote should happen um, sometime soon. We, we do not know, you know, it, ha it didn't happen yet. They have been in, they first came to um, Gates in June. Um, they did what's called the senior study. And out of 280 um, towns in Massachusetts, um, we were selected as one of 16 for the senior study. So the MSBA is looking very favorably 
on us and now it's our turn to show them the commitment from our town. As Joe was saying, this is really going to be the first step to, to all of this um, for the town, to the new senior center. I don't think our town is going to have an appetite to do anything, any new building, if we're not getting some money back from the state. The school is our opportunity to get money back from the state. The, um, the reimbursement rate right now is anywhere between 42 and Marshfield got 55% reimbursement. Um, all the towns around us have gone through this process recently. Marshfield, Hingham, Duxbury, Citroën is being left behind and so it is going to start hurting our property values if we do not take the time to look at our schools. You know, I think you all know the situation with Gates and it, it is about the teachers, it's not about the building, it's not about building a beautiful new building. It's about having a building, though, that is not making kids sick, and that is conducive to a 21st century education. So um, the, the vote on, on Tuesday night, it, we don't have the final number. Uh, I think the selectmen are voting on um, next Tuesday around what the number is looking like. I've heard anywhere between like 600,000, 750,000. Those numbers would also be reimbursed by the state for around 50%. So this, the number has to be a separate article and vote for, for the MSBA's requirements. And another thing to note is that that number, while it sounds high, is actually kind of low relative to other counts. Um, Marshfields was around two million for the feasibility study phase. Ooh. And feasibility study, another term that's been used a lot in this town, We've seemed to have done a lot of feasibility studies and, and then what have we done with it? Well, that's the great part, in my opinion, about getting the MSBA involvement. The MSBA, BA, the state, is not going to allow us to just not get anything for another study, not spend a lot of money on just another study. What we get for this is to look at all of our school buildings. It's not just looking at the middle school. It's looking at all the buildings and understanding what needs to happen with them. Do we have, you know, one too many elementary schools? What's the best um, thing there? You know, for example, too, it also gives us the educational plan for all of Situate. So first you have the vision for where is our education going, and then you have the building support that. Um, so then it actually then drives to the architectural plans. It hires about 20 engineers from you know civil and site planning and they will go out and look at all the sites they will look at the town hall and say if it's a feasible site for a school or not the msba is going to i'm sure listen to what the town is saying but at the end of the day they're going to be taking into account a lot of information for what's the best interest of the town for the school system what does MSBA stand for? Massachusetts School Building Authority. School Building Authority? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And they're funded by 1% of our state um, sales tax goes to fund the School Building Authority. So we basically put in for that reimbursement already? No. The, we're putting in for the reimbursement at the vote. It's a vote on November 13th. No, but what I'm saying is we've already Oh, we've paid we money into it. Yes. So it's yes. our money that's Sorry, coming back to us. Yes, and it's yeah. gone to all the other towns around us, yeah. so it's our turn. It's our turn that we get some of the money back. Could I ask a question? Yes. Because um, part of the thing is that so, so many people are confused by this whole process. Yeah. So I think it's best that they understand. Um, the 600000 or the $700,000 that's voting is actually a vote it's going to allow uh, is going to allow the school process to begin. It has nothing to do with the master plan. It only has to do with the school process. Is that is that is that what it's the six hundred thousand dollars will be used for? Uh, that that's essentially saying you've got this much money in abeyance. You may not use it all, but this is for feasibility and this is for the school. Yes. So what they're voting on. That money is not, which I think most people don't understand, 
because most people think that that you know it's a small town you hear rumors everybody knows a lot of people have come and said well that money is is for the whole master plan people don't understand that asking for that vote is the vote is allowing this study which is supposed to bring the schools to the 21st century it, it, what it does is look at what's happening how remediation can be done in order to bring the the, the educational level up to that yes, am i correct yes it, it, and everything this would be for the schools this vote what amount it is first of all i should say it will not raise our taxes this is money that is coming out of existing um but that's tax, funds. but it's tax money it's taxpayers it's money. not increasing our taxes no but it is taxpayers money that it they'll is. be using from right. our line items and, and yeah. so they have to understand though it's not just to spend this money to do another study okay. it is to say mm -hmm. we want to get state money back if the vote does not pass we will lose our opportunity to get any state money. We will not get this opportunity again for maybe years. But we will have the opportunity down the road if we can go back and look at building another school and asking for funds towards that. I mean, this is a I whole think, comprehensive I, I study. I don't think it's that that's true. Okay. No, okay. I don't think that's true. Think you have to apply to the MSBA, to the school building authority, to look at your town. We apply for new? their middle school. Yeah. Yes. It's a new process, and that's why I'm, you know, really talking a lot okay. about the MSBA right, because yeah. it's new to all of us. It's new to our town. We didn't have it when we built Jenkins. Mm. So it, it, their process is you um, put in a statement of interest. Mm -hmm. We did that back in December. Mm. We didn't get them to come look at Gates until June. Mm. So if this is our one chance mm -hmm. for November for all of the schools for all of our town, and while yes, this vote is about schools as we heard here tonight if this isn't passed we're looking at the rest of this plan for the master plan not moving forward or moving forward in a very different way because it's not going into gates and then the MSBI would look at renovating gates too I, I, you know? I thank you for saying that. I'm, a, I'm a little confused um, so yeah. hey, I understand your, what, what you're uh, talking about so the November vote is basically school oriented and, and I'm not saying it's a bad idea but it, it uh, so the, the residual buildings in town uh, that aren't being looked at under the six hundred thousand dollar study that you're talking about and I know there's this group that's forming you know but you know, they're not going to go off and do engineering studies on anything and so is there going to be a second round of requests well, let's say you know they say yeah this is a great idea let's go forward with gates and we ask the architects to do additional studies and get more into it where's the money for that coming from um <laughs> Mitch, right? richard richard sorry my understanding is this is not too short but i know that the, the school has come up with a number a ballpark number of 500 and some almost 600 thousand and my understanding is that the town is going to be seeking some additional funds, another, but I, I can't confirm that because that was a brief discussion. It hasn't come before the board in, in total, so I don't have the full. But I, my understanding is the town will be looking for some additional funds for a feasibility study for two, two purposes. One is for a public safety building on 3A, which would be the police and fire. Because we have nothing. We don't have any plans. We don't have any concepts. The second component would be go further now to Gates to really, in the first the feasibility said we just spent, which was just presented last week, was to talk about the existing school as it is, uh, the cost to upgrade many of the things, and also to place all the town offices in. The next phase is to say, okay, let's get to the nuts and bolts. If we really are going to do this, what does each department entity need spatially? Can it fit in? So we haven't gotten to that point. We don't have the money. I don't believe we have excess funds yet for that. So that may be the additional amount that we'll be seeking out. Uh, well, I'll know more by Tuesday night. You don't know how much is left of that 375? I think there is some that is still mm -hmm. there. But that's where I think Tuesday night we'll have that discussion about, OK, the school okay. component. Jen, have they done um, anything about finding out about the enrollment? Because I've heard two things. One, that. Hadley School no longer has the kindergarten over there. It's at, at Wampatuck. 
because there wasn't enough students. So they have so they this money, money would be used on. This money would be used, uh, the MSBA requires an enrollment plan for the whole town. That's what I'm saying. We're not just looking at the middle school. You're looking at all the schools. You're understanding the enrollment plan for all of them. <coughs> and while a town goes into working with the MSBA thinking we need a new middle school, you may come out of it something entirely different. That's what Joe was saying when he said the MSBA could come back to us and say, you know, after we looked at all the enrollment, after we looked at the educational planning, after we looked at all your schools, we really think, for example, the middle school should move into the high school and we should build a new high school. So we, can, we go into this process saying, yes, we want to work with you, yes, we want the state money, and then they work on all of that over the next four to six months, and that's what the money pays for. Does that answer your question? To a point, and I know okay. also that the middle school enrollment has dropped even more because of the fact that there is a big, large number of young people going to private schools. Because they don't want to go to that building. Not because they don't know. Because uh, I, I have a grandson that's, it wasn't that. It was something else and I don't think it should be discussed, but it was not because he didn't, they didn't want him to go into that building. You, yeah, I can't across the board, you know, and I assume you can't um, either. I think that you know, building, if it had been maybe painted and taken care of right from the beginning, would it have? Yeah. It wouldn't be in the condition it's in today. Right. Right. So just because it's old doesn't mean yeah. we should replace it, but the condition of the building means that something like needs up. to happen. And you know, I think that would be a great if I could um, take a minute and show you guys a really quick video of the inside because I know that you all understand, but we're running short. Here? Okay, we're running short on yeah. yeah. We took a okay. We, 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 okay. There's a website. Well, we'll we'll if you guys get, yeah. if you if you're interested, <coughs> and I'll just pass this around. And I'll wait for it. Um, give me your name and an email, and then I can send you the link to the video. And um, I do have a handout. I'll just okay, give great. you, and then we'll. Can I say also that um, the populations have changed, but the, I think the vision for a middle school is to accommodate more than just a 7 8. I think that It's happens. going back to the 6th grade because my husband taught at the Gates School in the 6th right. grade. 6 so, 7 8 or yeah. 5 6 7 but, 8, which would allow you to close probably an elementary school. Then why don't we take an elementary school and put it into a junior that. high instead of... And they may saying, say to do that. They you know, or giving the seniors the, the elementary school to, you right. know, instead of putting this burden on... I, I, I You know, I, I, I saw... I'm sorry. I, I, I'm an educator, but I'm not going to help with this. Jen? Jen, here. Yes. I, I just want to make sure that, um, because I think Florence brought up a point and Rich also, the um, the, feasi the money for a feasibility study that's going to be voted on here is for the schools, and then and then the town is going to come for money for a feasibility study if 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 the school needs. Six hundred thousand dollars. The town's going to come for, I would assume, a lot more. And that's not speaking to you because I'm yeah. not asking you for that. Yeah. But as a taxpayer, the town's going to come for a lot more money to do the feasibility study on what the whatever the master plan is. And I I thought that it had to do with also the fire and the public safety. Mm -hmm. And redoing yeah. the, the gates, so so I think people have to understand what what Florence is saying is that this vote in November is only for the school feasibility money, and then they're going to come back for the rest of the master plan. Yeah. The, the That's state, what, you're right. Is that correct? Yes. Just so you the state know that? is going to require that any vote for school for funding to get back from the state to be separate. Separate, okay. So the money that we voted on last <coughs> April, the 375, did include at that time to look at the schools. This was before the MSBA was involved. Yeah. Now we have to have them separate. So no, we I still have that, that 375 um, you know, some was spent on the architects to look at, right, but there's money still there left to go towards the rest of what the town needs. Towards the rest of the And this part plan. of the school, you know, say 600, but we get 50% back, so it's 300 just to look at all the schools. 
And the big key piece is that if this doesn't pass, then we're not going to get any state money. Is it possible that they would say tear down gates, I mean, save the facade, whatever, <laughs> and build a middle school on the gates property? Yes. They will look Is to for, they will look to say if we renovate gates point of order. for a school. Uh, point of order. The schools are great for the kids, but this has nothing to do with the seniors. It's just the, st the oh, beginning of the process. process. That's, That's all. Process. Well, you know, we don't know what the we don't well, know what the know. school committee. I mean that. The, we don't the know what's going to happen with the school building committee. No, but we're do. listening to the process. And that's what we're waiting to find yeah. out. If this is passed, right. we uh, will know we, what we're they going have. As a group, if any option is on the table. Yeah, yeah but groups. Well, I know they looked at it for so schools to renovate what's there. Yeah. I'm yeah. asking, did they also yeah, want to study? Yeah, it is because it's education. And it's education for the seniors who are watching this. So it is helping us. Well, maybe I'm wrong. The more people know, the better off they are. Maybe I'm wrong. It's about being educated. They may suggest that if there's no other property in town. Well, they may suggest it, but right now it's their responsibility is going to be to look at all the schools, the education plan. I think the part that it does really have to do with you, though, is that if this doesn't pass in November, we won't be getting any state money back from the state. And then is anyone going to have an appetite for a $100 million project that includes the senior center versus a $50 million project that includes everything? Yeah. Well, it doesn't so, include the Yes, it would. So I mean, I think she's saying, I'm 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 saying that if you first start with the school, but it's really the gateway to all of these improvements. So you start with the school, and if they want to put anything in gates, you need the school done. And it could be a hundred million dollars for everything: school, senior center, town hall, total. And the fifty million is, you know, so, so I was using round numbers. So say the school is no, I don't care. Use round numbers. That's that's fine. So I'm saying we would get fifty percent back. So it's on the school. Using those numbers is going to be 25. Uh, we're going to get right. on with the uh, election of the officers. Jen, thank you very much for having us. I appreciate it. Thank you. 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 So I would like to ask for volunteers to be the chairman for this coming year that we're already in the midst of. Do I have a volunteer? Or are you nominating me again? She's a fine Anybody else? Anybody else? All right, well, then let's have a vote. All in favor, say aye. Aye. All right, I'll accept. Yay. Vice chairman. So democratic. <laughs> vice chairman, do we have anybody who would like to be vice chairman? Chairman would be your excellent vice chairman. We have a second of that. Okay. Second. I second it. Yes. Okay. All in favor, Jim? Will you accept yes. if you're elected? Yes. Uh, all in favor, Say Jim? Aye. 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 All right. Aye. Treasurer. Aye. Who has been our treasurer? I've been. That's right. You were very busy. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Are you, are you, are you, are you, are you the funds? <laughs> are you abstaining the funds? You notice I have a new car? <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 you. Thank what I would let me tell you what I would really like. I would like somebody who would honestly uh, transcribe the minutes because we don't have anybody in Florence's office in the Council on Aging that's doing that. So if there was somebody who could take the disc and transcribe the minutes, it would be great. So um, is anybody interested in doing that? No. The volunteer was cute. Megan, you got time to do that? <laughs> <laughs> can you write? I barely can we get here. Can you write writing or can you just write printing? Is there a, how, how long does it take? 
It's about an hour. Um, hour and a half. And all I'm doing is typing up everything everybody's saying. Well, you're watching the discs and you're putting notes together and that. The other option is that we rotate it, but I mean we need people that will honest, honestly do it. I'd be happy to do my I'd love to rotate it. Yeah. I'd be happy do to I have other people that will do it? Because you have to be a board member. Yeah. Sure. You can find it outside. Yeah. Well, we'll see if we can talk her into it. You want to postpone that one then until we can? No. She's looking the other way. Noreen, would you be interested in? See, I told you. <laughs> see, Noreen, you should not have come to this. Yes. No, no, no. Okay, but would you? We'll be rotating. Yeah. We'll be rotating. I'd help in, I, I can't do anything until January. After January, maybe I could, we could alternate? I'll, I'll go in on it because I did this month's meeting. Yeah. And if we do three of us. I know I can't only do that until June. Too many commitments on. But in January I could take some. All right. Well, how about the three of us and we okay. rotate it? All right. That work? How about taking a tape recorder along with you? Now we leave. We have the yes, disc. Tape. Yes, tape. We have the disc. They watch the disc. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So there's going to be three of us yeah. doing it. That's great. Tape. Okay. So we have our, um, our board officials. Um, zipping along the minutes from August 8th and September 12th meeting. You have those before you. They were sent to you a few days ago. I hope everybody read them because I would like to just go ahead and um, have those approved if possible. Accepted. Did everybody read them? Yes, I did. Okay. Thank you, Sam. I read them. Oh, my pleasure. Okay, somebody make a motion that we accept the minutes for August and September. Okay, you second? Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Okay. Uh, staff and directors reports. Florence. All right. It's okay. Um, it's hard to believe. It really is the number of new our expanded programs we are offering since the advent of fall. Having the uh, Situic uh, Harbor Community Building to, uh, to book larger venues has certainly helped. Looking at the numbers of participants, I can safely say we have grown by 50% in our programs just by having that alternative. And um, so it, it is such a pleasure to see so many new spaces taking advantage of the services that we offer. It looks like transportation will be up to 7,000 rides at the end of this calendar year. Seniors and others are so excited about the Italian class and our extended art offerings. We will be going, uh, we will be giving another uh, craft show on November 9th with uh, 26 vendors participating. When it comes to this venue, Tom Edwards is my hero. He has done so much for this community over the years and continues with his good works. As you know, this event is to raise money for those in need. This year, it's for fuel assistance for our veterans. We are so happy to be giving back to a group who has done so much to keep our country free. Don't forget to check it out. There are many great items to purchase and think Christmas. I have just completed our newsletter, and November and December are even busier. We will have a senior art show on the 8th of December, a series of three workshops on rest and relaxation, a workshop given by the Situate Garden Club, a dinner in November sponsored by the 12 Women of Situate, a group of young women whose mission it is to help their community. We are looking forward to it and as an exciting time at the senior session. Um, September was a busy month. Many of the, this is the, this is my report. Many of our programs are beginning again and several new programs are added. The transition of programs at the uh, Situate Harbor Community Building is working well, thanks to Paula Barry, the town scheduler, and Jenny Gerbis from the COA who keep the calendar on events and programs booked. All of the seniors who are participating in programs and events at the building are happy to be there. They feel that the limited space, that the 
that the unlimited space in parking have been addressed, the limited space in parking have been addressed. However, they feel very uneasy about the stability of this transition, and they do, because they question, you know, how long it's going to be available. We have many programs and events occurring during November and December, and our staff is working hard to keep it running smoothly. And day-to-day -day operational continues without any um, issues. The caregivers group is proceeding nicely, and the ability to be able to make sh to to take the ones that they are caring for to the program is, as we expected, has increased our ability to offer more services to them. It is fall, and fuel assistance is starting to increase our numbers. Remember, this service is not just for seniors. We do the whole town, families and um, other people under 60. Uh, so, um, that, and at the same time, Medicare and Prescription Rx has open enrollment, which doubles the numbers for our social service staff. They are out straight as they must offer other services as well. Um, the, um, I think transportation and GAFTA are running well, and I will be attending the, GAFTA, the monthly meeting in Taunton on the 11th, which is actually tomorrow. I just completed the MCOA conference in, at Seacrest. It was amazing. All 350 senior centers participated, along with New Hampshire and New Haven, Connecticut. The workshops were great, and I came away with lots of ideas, especially in advocacy. This conference was paid for out of our 2011 formula grant. I received the enrollment study, I received the environmental study from Kevin Kelly, building facilitator. And there was some, and there will be some remediation done to fix some of the issues. That, that is all I have on that. The um, social service monthly report is home visit six, office visits, at the COA 39, meetings or events attended, one, telephone calls 64, referrals made 28, duplicated numbers was 119, unduplicated numbers were 58. Um, and this month, the social service coordinators went to a training for fuel assistance for the upcoming season beginning November 1st. The income levels have increased slightly from last year. Social service workers assist any situate residents, regardless of age, when, when applying for fuel system benefits, so that new applicants do not need to drive to Plymouth where the South Shore Community Action Council offices are located. Our transportation for um, uh, the month of September was 514 daily, 55 on the link, uh, the map was um, we had none on the map. The volunteer drivers were seven of a total of 576. Total miles driven were 1,250. We, um, as a group, um, I wrote for the map grant for Hull, Marsh, uh, Hull, Hingham, um, Norwell, Situate, and Cohasset. And this is a, a group uh, transportation grant that allows all five, five towns to participate in uh, transportation that goes outside of uh, uh, their areas and into Boston with medical rides. Um, so that was, we got that grant successfully from the uh, Social Elder Services. Okay, congratulations. So um, that's all I have. Thank you. How much do we, how much? That's $15,000. Amongst the five towns? Yes. Okay. So it's and, and then sometimes, yeah, yeah, sometimes use school. it more than others. Last year we hardly used it at all because they were, uh, a couple of the times were really, really hurting for rides and we had the, still had um, some money in our, our link budget that was in excess of what we were using, so we allowed them to, we, we didn't bill against that. Yeah. So, anyway. Okay. Anybody have any questions before us? Do we have any numbers on the GATRA? Oh, you mean, um, uh, and what are you talking about in terms of the uh, usage? Well, the usage is what we're using now. The only thing GATRA's doing right now is in town is running so, for the seniors' rides. So, so 
So those are the numbers that you will see. Those are all GATRA, because don't forget, GATRA is paying, is reimbursing the town to the tune of $95,000 for all the transportation. So essentially, that brings our budget down to 130 some odd thousand dollars from 225,000 last year. Mm -hmm. So we are, because we are with GATRA, we've saved the town almost $100,000. And does that stay in our budget? No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, are you kidding me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the town has to set up the other, the other portion That's of the GATRA bus service. Yeah, they well, have still, that we are still using our vans. We're still using yeah. our vans. Mm -hmm. Okay. No other questions? Um, I just wanted to thank Richard Mitchell for stepping up to the plate and volunteering to become the uh, representative for the Council on Aging for the Master Plan and Feasibility Committee. I hope you enjoyed it. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do anything. If you need us to do any legwork for you, you just let us know. Or copying or anything yeah, like that. You need. We'd be more than happy to help. You're well, you're well suited, I think. Yeah. We, we, we think you're well suited. Yeah, we will. Um, well, it's a quandary. It's not going to be an easy solution. No. It really isn't because, you know, I mean, it's... A lot of people to please. It's an awful lot of money, and it's a yeah. lot of a lot of building at one time, and um, it's just not the best time in the world economically for people, so it's going to be hard for them to make that call. And until numbers really are, I think that they can really see the light of day when they know what the numbers are, but nobody's going to vote for a pig in a poke. What do you think is going to cost for this whole project, really? What all this they want to do? What's our deal? What's our deal? I know. I think it's going to be between seventy and a hundred. What you think you're going to get half the school back? I mean, if you if you got a sixty million a sixty million dollars school or a seventy million dollars, what it made me wonder was whether there's another town in the state that, in the same decade, has built a new school and has made a new community town hall, senior center, and a new police and fire. But Hanover has and library. But, but don't forget, Hanover's tax base is, is about 15 or 20 percent. They have, so is Marshfield, so is Hingham. This is a town that's got 97 percent of, of, of the taxes are coming from homeowners. And it's not going to change. But, but remember the gentleman who spoke in Pier 44 from Franklin? Franklin Mass. Franklin Mac has a huge commercial base. Okay, yeah. but Citroen has no but commercial base. They, they did all these things within this decade, though. That's what he was asking. But, but, yeah, but he wouldn't give us. It would no, he wouldn't tell us. He wouldn't give us money. He, he wouldn't didn't tell, tell us. He told us he didn't know how much it cost. Yeah. Franklin. We're just going to have to wait. Well, it's going to be. The library's got a the library's got a big grant, I guess, this past week. Five minutes. Yeah, yeah, but they have to have another seven million to complete the project. But if nothing else, it feels like we're at least on a path to start making some plans for the town. You know, if nothing else, it seems like we've been spinning our wheels for a while. Is it all going to pass at once? That's a huge chunk of money. But at least we can start making plans, I think. I don't know. I'm not yeah. picking out well, maybe if anything, so we're not picking out any wallpaper. Right? <laughs> no, 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 no. Maybe if anything, it will show us the way that it needs to be. Right. And I find your yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Oh, you said it's going to be the pipeline and then another on the side. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Rachel got her own She got her license. New business. Yeah, Does anybody does. have any new business that they want to talk about? I have one thing. We have the uh, health fair coming up in the springtime, and Florence needs a small committee from the board that will help work on organizing that. Do I have a couple of volunteers? I'll help. Thank you. Okay. All right. Organizing what? Health fair committee. Health fair. Yeah. The health fair. Yeah. 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 In December? In April. 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 Yeah. So I will help. Thank you. Okay. Jerry's volunteer okay. too. What and time do we have? <laughs>